Hello, friends. Welcome back. <clears throat> Today we're going to sort an array alphabetically using the sort method. Uh, the sort method sorts the elements of an array according to the callback function. For example, ascending sort, you can do the array, you return array.sort based on the A or B, and you return A minus B. So that would be, if you were to sort the, uh, an ascending sort here, it would go start from the bottom and go to the top. So A is less than B, and this is the initial value and the secondary value. Uh, reverse is pretty much the opposite way. Uh, return array dot sort reverse alpha. Hmm. Array dot sort function a b your array. If a is equal to b. Oh no, this is confusing stuff. Then here and here else here something like that. Reverse alpha. Okay, so this is reverse alphabet sort. If return a equal to b, if, if they're equal, then zero. If a is less than b, then one, or else negative one. So JavaScript's default sorting method is by using Unicode point value, which may return unexpected results. Therefore, it is encouraged to provide a callback function to specify how to sort the array items. When such a callback function, normally called compare function, is supplied, the array elements are sorted according to the return value of the compare function. If compare function a b returns a value less than zero for two elements a and b then a will come before b. If compare function a b returns a value greater than zero for two elements a and b then b will come before a. If compare function returns a value equal to zero or two value two elements a and b then a and b will remain unchanged. So we want to use the sort method in the alphabetical order function to sort the elements of array in the alphabetical order. Uh, your code should use the sort method, uh, and then we've got some examples. And the G, so this one should return A, A, C, D, G, Z, which is in order. A, A, C, D, G, Z. So this is the, the use case that we're using. And then it has some other use cases just to make sure that we're doing it right. Okay, sweet. So um, first thing that we want to do is just come up here. We're doing alphabetical order. So we want to do an ascending order sort of situation. So we could return the array.sort, uh, the function of a, b, and we can return a minus b. Now that worked. Uh, yeah, let's console log this. A, okay, so that didn't affect it at all. So this is to sort numbers. Why Now this didn't work because it's, it's set up to sort number. Um, I mean, this one just did reverse alphabet. So, I mean, honestly, we could just copy this, right? Yeah, so now it's just organized in reverse. So what do we want to do? We just want to change it instead of that being there. A, A, C, D, G, Z. So all we're doing is shifting this from being reverse alphabetical to being in alphabetical order. I <laughs> bet this is going to pass. Um, cool. So, yeah. I mean, you could factor this down, right? Bring it to ES6. I'm not sure exactly why they switch back and forth between these. But, um, yeah, do you even need the... Re isn't it the Im render implicit if it's set up like this? No, it's not. Okay. So we need that return statement. Um, yeah, and th this is all single line. Um, I don't have much more else to say about this, right? I mean, the alphabetical sort. Yeah, this is, just a, this is just a new form of an if statement. And I'm not sure exactly why they did it here. It might be necessary. I'm not really sure why. Why, why would we need to do this? And... Um, it's possible that th there's a lot of built-in tools with modern library frameworks, so you're not actually having to sort things alphabetically very often. So, I don't know. Should we go into this more in depth or just call it here? I mean, you just... I, I, I refactored it to use modern stuff. I mean, we could go sort JavaScript and have a look at the array prototype dot sort. Um, Months.sort, console log months. Months is December, February, January. Uh, 
Okay, so here, sort hasn't put them in order. What it's done is put them in, uh, put the months uh, sorted by, it looks like H-I-J-K-L-M. So here the, the sort has organized these based on the first letter of the string. Uh, here it looks like even even the sort doesn't even do a very good job, array.sort. It doesn't do an excellent job of of changing this guy because this, this isn't in order. So the, the sort needs a compare function. Anyways, so yeah, that's basically, the sort is not necessarily a simple thing to fall back on and count on. There's a, it can be tricky. Sorting is a very uh, important thing in computer science. But for now, I think that this is going to be suffice for our reasons. Run the tests and they pass. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.